What's happening guys, Ed from TechSaurus. I am so excited and I am proud to finally announce Setup Makeover Season 2. However, this time we're going to be doing something a little different. This season of Setup Makeover, we're going to be focusing on a specific theme. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Venom Gaming Room Project. <laughs> So just like the name says, I'm going to be completely redoing someone's room. Not just the setup, guys, but the PC, desk, and also some parts of the room as well. And obviously, if you guys haven't noticed already, the theme is going to be Venom. So the person's room I'm going to be doing a complete makeover on is actually a friend of mine. His name is Harry. He is a high school buddy of mine. He's a really close friend. And because of the way things played out on season one, I kind of wanted to uh, completely redo someone's gaming room that's close to me. Uh, it's just for this season guys, we're gonna resume season 3 by picking uh, another contestant, which that person has already been selected. His name is Heath by the way, and he knows because I've been talking with him. But yeah guys, these are the parts I'm gonna be using uh, for the PC build. There's gonna be three episodes for season 2. Episode 1 is gonna be the PC build. For episode two, I'm gonna give his room the complete makeover, obviously, and episode three, which is the finale, I'm gonna reveal it to him. Um, even till today, guys, he does not know anything about this. So he has no idea that I'm gonna give his room a complete makeover. It's gonna be really awesome. It's, I'm very excited to do this. And a huge, huge, huge thanks to MSI for reaching out to me and sponsoring this series. So I'm very excited to be a part of this. All right, so before we go over the parts, I do wanna talk about this awesome Venom gift box from MSI. So check this out guys. So for a limited time, MSI has given out these awesome Venom gift boxes to anyone who purchases select items from MSI. And if you wanna find out which items qualify to get the gift box, then I'll drop a link to that down below. So inside the gift box, you get this nice looking medium uh, Venom themed fabric mouse pad, and you even get an aluminum water bottle. It even has some really cool Venom artwork right on the bottle itself and on the top there's even a carabiner clip so if you guys want to clip it to your backpack or whatever you can do so. But yeah really cool stuff it's only for a limited amount of time obviously so check out the link below if you guys want to snag one for yourself. Alright now let's go over some parts in case you guys haven't noticed already it's going to be a water cooled PC. Originally it was supposed to be air cooled but I told MSI you know what I want to make this PC special so I'm going to do a custom loop with soft tubing. So the CPU we're going with is the Ryzen's second generation 2700X 8 core processor, which is a nice upgrade from his current 4790K. Unfortunately, he is still stuck on the DDR3 platform. So not only are we going to refresh him and bring him up to date with current parts, but we're going to give him a really nice upgrade in performance, as well as in the aesthetics department, of course. Also later down the line, let's say he wants to stream games or maybe he's using programs that eat up more CPU power. Well, the 2700X has him covered. For RAM, we're going with two 8 gigabyte sticks, so 16 gigabytes total, uh, 3000 megahertz. These are the Vengeance LPX all black RAM sticks from Corsair, which obviously blend in perfectly with the color scheme. And also it's a nice upgrade uh, from his current RAM. I think he's rocking uh, eight gigs of DDR3 at like 2000 something megahertz. So definitely a nice upgrade there. So for the motherboard, I'm using the B450 Tomahawk once again. This is the same board I used in my streaming PC. It's just a solid mainstream uh, well-balanced motherboard that offers a lot of performance for the money. It's got four DIMM slots, M.2 support, I think over seven power phases. Overclocking on this board is really easy. I was actually able to push my 2600X to 4.2 gigahertz using the B450 Tomahawk. So yeah, overall very satisfied with this board, hence why I'm using it again for Harry's PC. Now for the GPU, I picked the RX Vega 56 for several reasons. Uh, first of all, it's a nice upgrade from his current GPU, which is the GTX 980. The 980 is good for 1080p gaming, but I'm giving him a Vega 56 because I want him to start gaming in 2K resolution. The monitors are Quad HD resolution, so the Vega 56 will definitely help him game in that resolution. Obviously, there's a bunch of water cooling parts in here. Uh, both the CPU and GPU block are actually RGB, but I'm going to leave the lighting on there white. And speaking of lighting, 
I'm not gonna be doing RGB in this build, obviously. It's mostly black with very subtle white accents, but I did go with these white LED fans from Corsa just so we can light up the inside of the PC so it's not just pitch black inside. There are gonna be some really cool custom mods done to the PC, which I'm not gonna show you just yet. It's gonna be a surprise at the end of this video. Uh, my buddy, actually, Gary, is coming over and he's gonna bring the parts with them and we're gonna mod the PC together. He's actually doing a uh, Venom gaming room setup on his channel as well. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll drop a link below. All right guys, so I would say we're about halfway done with the build right now and I am loving the way it's turning out. Uh, everything is going according to plan. So far, everything is smooth, knock on wood. This actually never happens to me when doing a water cool build. Believe it or not, something always goes wrong, but so far, everything's good. I also told you guys that we're gonna be doing some slide modding to the PC itself. We're gonna be adding some pretty cool uh, custom work to it at the end of the video, but I decided to do that now because Gary is on his way and he's gonna bring the stuff with him. So I'm excited to see what he's got. But yeah, I just wanted to get this done now. That way when I'm applying the loop and putting the reservoir and pump, I don't want any of that to interfere with the custom work inside the PC. But anyways, Gary should be here in a few minutes. Let's check out and see what he's bringing. All right guys, so Gary finally made it to the office. Why don't you come over here and introduce yourself, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to finally meet you, dude. Hey guys, my name is Gary, also known as Rage Elixir on YouTube. I make gaming videos and stuff like that. And I just have a lot of fun. So Sweet, what do you have for me today? What do well, I have actually, what do you have for me today? Cause oh, I got it. Bring the stuff over, dude. Let's, let's see what you got. So we've been working together with V1 Tech actually, and they sent over some custom parts for the PC and it's with them right now. So I'm excited to check it out, guys. So the first thing that we have right here is a PSU cover. Uh, it actually has RGB lighting, so. Oh, so this pretty much goes over here and covers the power mm -hmm. supply. Oh, that looks really nice. We also have a GPU backplate. Oh. It's also powered by RGB lighting. Last but not least, we have the decal stickers. So I think we're gonna put this on the outside of the PC. This is actually a good idea. I, I did not even think about this. We can put this on the side panel because it is a tempered glass panel for the case. And we can put this actually a smaller one. We can put this somewhere in there so it's not really covering up the internals, mm -hmm. but also give it a nice venom look in there Ooh. too. So let's go ahead and put these together real quick and see how the PC turns out. All right, let's do the PSU shroud first. I'm gonna run this cable through the back if you wanna just grab it real quick. Okay. Let's see how this looks. There we go. That looks Ooh, that so looks much so cleaner. Nice. There we go. It's gonna essentially sit on like this. We're gonna put some adhesive obviously underneath this so it stays in place, but. Oh, that looks so nice with the PSU shot because it's got the same design on there. Same theme. Yeah, that looks, that looks sick. All right, let's figure out the sticker situation. So what are you thinking? Um, What do you think about like the biggest sticker right here? In the center? Yeah, in the center like that. The only thing I'm worried about is the sticker covering like the internals inside the PC, oh, yeah. like the, the loop and the parts and stuff like that. That's right. So I don't want it to be too obvious. You know? We have two more sizes. This is like a medium size, this is large. What about like, what if we put this in the corner as like a logo? It's good. I like that logo idea. All right, so if you put it over here, it's gonna cover up the shroud. Over here, it's too obvious. I think it will look nice in the bottom right corner. 
Just to also cover up this gap over here between the PSU shroud and the radiator. So I think, I think we have a winner. All right, let's peel off the plastic first. All right, I think we're ready to peel it off. Things looks good. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that's looking so nice. Oh, it is officially venomized. Oh yeah. So what do you think, Gary? The PC is halfway done. What is your feedback so far on the build? You know, I think it looks great. I think the extra changes and mods that we made to it spice things up a little bit. Um, I definitely agree on that. The back plate and the PSU shroud go well together because of the, the design on it. So if the, And the decal. And the decal, I think, was the icing on the mm -hmm. cake, definitely. But appreciate it, man. Thank you so much for coming over yeah, and no bringing problem. over the custom mods. Huge thanks to V1 Tech for making these, obviously, for the build. If you guys, again, want to check out his makeover for his gaming room, check it out. I'll drop a link to it down below. Gary, again, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to finish this build today. All right. See you later. Peace. All right. So I finally ran into my first issue with the build, and that is the clearance for the pump and reservoir combo. So the original plan was to mount it against the radiator near the bottom over here, but as you guys can see, there is not enough clearance because of the graphics card. Um, option number two was mounting it horizontally near the top against the 120 millimeter fans there at the top, but as you guys can see, it's covering up pretty much everything and it looks stupid if I were to do it like this. Option number three was to do it this side, which still doesn't look that good, which leads me to option number four, modding. I'm gonna be drilling a few holes on the PSU shroud itself and mount it right on the cover itself near the bottom like this, which actually looks way better because there's nothing going on down here and I can use that extra space for the pump and reservoir. So yeah, this is the current solution. Luckily, EK provides their templates for the pump, so I'm just gonna basically figure out where exactly the pump's gonna go on the shroud, and then mark those holes, and of course, drill right through them. I need to position the pump in a way, I need to position the pump in a way so that the holes are facing the side, uh, that way the tubes come out through the side and not go up and hit the bottom of the GPU. So, there's really only one way to do this. The cool thing about the EK pump and rest combo is that you can actually rotate this entire piece over here. So there's a clamp down here. You just pull it out and then you rotate the entire thing to your desired angle. So I'm gonna have a position like this. See now the holes are facing to the side so it's gonna be a lot easier uh, planning the loop. Uh, the only downside to this method is it's gonna be very difficult pouring in the coolant. I'm gonna have to find a different port to uh, pour in the coolant because it's no longer sitting vertically. All right guys, so that pretty much concludes episode one of the Venom Gaming Room project. The only thing left to do on the PC is 
uh, finish up the cable management in the back, hook everything else up and install the drivers and uh, get the PC ready for Harry. I'm not going to show you guys what the PC looks like once it's 100% complete. You're just going to have to wait and find out uh, for episode 3, which is the finale. That's when I'll be revealing everything. So yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you have notifications enabled because it's going to be epic. My overall impressions with the build, uh, I would say, I feel like I'm always biased. I always say it looks good, I'm happy with the way it turned out, but I really, yeah, this time, this is actually the only water cool build I've done, which has been the smoothest so far. Other than that issue with the clearance, with the pump and reservoir combo, which really wasn't an issue, I found another way around it. Overall, the, the rest of the build went very smooth, so I'm really happy with that. It boots, uh, I even ran a leak test for a couple hours, there are no leaks. Uh, right now there's distilled water in there. I'm gonna leave it overnight so it can clean the system inside. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come flush the system and pour in the black coolant and it's gonna look even better with that. Now in terms of airflow, we do have a 360 millimeter rad in the front, which has three 120 millimeter fans as intake. We also have a 120 mil rad in the back as exhaust and two additional 120 millimeter fans on the top as exhaust as well. So a total of six fans. But yeah, that about wraps up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are excited for episode two and the finale of the Venom Gaming Room Project, make sure to smack that like button. And uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, PC by leaving your feedback down below. I know it's not completely done yet, but so far, let me know what you guys think. Is there something you would have done differently? Do you not agree with some of the part choices? Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section because I will be reading them. Uh, all the parts used inside this build will also be linked below in case you guys want to check it out. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next one.